guys welcome back to honest straightforward reviews today i am showing you guys how to put on a noctua nhu 12a fan onto a ryzen 5800x or any ryzen processors now first things first what i want you guys to look at is that's the motherboard okay so that's the x570 aorus master by gigabyte and these two are the first things that need to be removed and that's the back plate in the back that thing that square thing yeah. okay we need that we don't need those two plastic bits okay now as you guys might know it's a good idea to have your power supply next to you just to get any static out of your body just by touching it it should be off not plugged in other than that what you need is so if you're doing the latest processor the uh, 5000 series cpus you need the gray ones for the older ones you can use the white ones those are the screws that's what you need you need these two brackets which will replace those two and you need this screwdriver all right without further ado let's get this underway now just a few tips before i start so i wanted to show you guys the cooler so that's the cooler we're fitting on today so last thing you want to do is face it this way okay all right or like because it's going to blow air right there or right here okay all right so if you face it that way it's going to either blow this way or that way that way is the most desirable way because like there's nothing in its way it sits high up here blows it out the out the upper side of your case and you don't have to worry about it now how do you know which side is it going to spin and which side it's going to blow onto this is for most fans they have a direction for this all you got to do is look down here all right so this tells you see the two arrows over here so one's pointing this way that means the fans are going to be spinning that way this way is what it's going to blow out at so this is how we're going to put this on okay we're going to take these off then we're going to put it on all right uh, but before that we'll put the cpu on but that, that's how we're going to put it on all right anyways so i've loosened these up a little bit and you can use the the one that comes with your fan cooler just to open these up so that's not a big deal so i'll open these two up first so that's opened up okay no no it's not okay okay they're done now what i want you guys to do is just give this a nice old tear guys ideally i would have loved to have my fan facing that way but i can't i have i'm forced to fa face it that way which is not too bad as long as you're not facing it onto the ram okay so that'll just stuff your ram and make it really hot okay so then you, you got it circulating inside you know uh, so let, before we continue just that's what you got to do so you've got the spaces there and also you'll grab the screws as well Oopsie. All right, guys, now I've got the brackets installed. Before we do anything else, I'm going to install the CPU. Now, you gotta match this little dot, really easy with that little dot so before we do that just pull this out it's really easy nothing and putting this in you got to be careful just line it up and it should fall into place like that you don't need to do anything there's no forcing involved okay it just went in i'm not pushing it or anything like that just putting it back and that's it bang it's fixed now we're going to put the cooler on top of that now the correct amount of thermal paste always argued I just do the size of P right smack bang in the middle then what I do is take off the fans obviously you just pull on the little metal caps on the side and just take them off then you put them put it on now I had a few issues as you guys can see with putting it on because it was having a lot of uh, shoes going in as you guys can see I kept shaking it around on the the side that you guys see it was just not fitting so you got to just gently move it about a little bit don't take it off move it around a little bit and 
it should go on pretty easily once it goes on don't screw one side on same with the holders don't screw one side on so gently screw just a couple of turns one side then a couple of turns the other and just keep doing that after that is done i want you guys to put on the fan now you guys should have like a double cable that's like one side and it should split off two those two ends of that cable goes into the fans the two fans and the other side goes in uh, the fan socket where it is you just need to look at your manual to be able to see that all right guys that's basically it from me thank you for staying to the end and watching it i really hope that you enjoyed this found this helpful please do let me know in the comments what you thought about it if you didn't like something leave me a comment letting me know what to improve not don't just dislike something i can't improve i can't guess what you guys dislike all right guys take care